My van home is much like any other traditional home. I got a bathroom, a garbage can, a kitchen with a stove and a fridge and a freezer. I have a living area, a place for company to come over and sit. I got a bedroom and an entertainment area where I can watch TV at night. But I know there's one question, one question you've all wanted to know, and that's what's inside of my rooftop carrier. Okay, truth be told, nobody's ever asked me that question because nobody probably cares. But that's all right. Today, I'm going to make it a video entirely about that. What's inside of the box? Well, there's a lot of stuff inside this rooftop carrier. And I got to take it all out. I have to take this entire carrier off of my van. I'm going in in a few days to get my ARB locker installed into the rear differential of my vehicle. I am so stoked. I've been waiting like pretty close to like six months, seven months for this thing to come in. Oh, so excited. Uh, but my van does not fit into the, <laughs> the gear and axle shop with this thing on it. So we got to take everything out of here, trying to be quiet because it's early in the morning and I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up Mark and Lisa up at the house there. So how do I do this? See, normally I would just take this stuff and just throw it. <laughs> Let's see. Shh. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> How this is secured is you just literally turn this and it opens the teeth on the bottom. You see these right there? You tighten it up around the bar, right? As tight as you can, or you open it. When they're, when they're shut, you flip that to lock it. It doesn't stay locked all the time. A lot of times you gotta come up here and check on them because they will loosen up. So when the crew at Ray Outfitted put all this stuff on there, they put these little waterproof quick connect plugs on here. So if I needed to ever take this stuff off, you unclip it and there's the waterproof wire plug for my light that's on the top back here. That doing this stuff is just super smart. I'm trying to be quiet and I just dropped it out there. My hands are freezing. <laughs> Why is it when you try your hardest to be quiet is probably when you're the most noisy. All right. Let me show you what I'm currently carrying inside of my rooftop carrier. This is forever changing depending on the season or what's going on. Sometimes I'll bring stuff down inside of the van. Sometimes I'll put the inside van stuff up there if I found I'm not having been touching some things for a little while. But right here is about the basics of what's up there at all times. I always carry a full tool kit up there and this is a great idea for anybody living in a van. Please, all these parts not fall all over the place. <laughs> There's a few falling out, but always carry a complete toolkit because you never know when you're sitting on the side of the road and you need some tools. It's a good idea to just carry them. Get in there. I've had this kit since I started my van life and it's just a good idea to keep. Some of you may not be mechanical. You may not know how to turn a wrench but it's a good idea to carry the toolkit anyway because you never know when you're broken down on the side of a road and somebody drives by and is like, you know, I could help you if I had tools. 
keep it on hand. That way you've got the tools. Just a smart idea. A camp chair. I got this one from Cabela's. It's a great little camp chair. A little folding stool a subscriber gave me. Um, I used to carry this inside the van all the time because I use this for like sitting in my kitchen area. But uh, I don't use it as much anymore. So it's still a good thing to have for me. So I, I've been keeping it uh, upstairs. Appropriately sized tire chains. I have two sets. One for the front, one for the back. When I first bought chains, I only bought a set for the back. <laughs> it works great to push you, but when you want to steer and stop, doesn't work. So keep two sets uh, when you're in um, snowy season. In here is jumper cables, a safety vest, and a few other things like some gloves and stuff, uh, just in case you're broken down on the side of the road. Um, this one here also has a foldable cone. So you can put them on either side of your vehicle so when people drive up, um, there's some reflectors on the road. Um, these kits you can buy on Amazon. I don't know where I got this one. And I carry a good ax. Um, I've been meaning to mount this one on my side door of the van. That way it's just a quick, easy grab. Um, whether you're a backcountry person or not, having an ax inside of your van, they're fairly small. You can slide them kind of anywhere. It's a good idea. What if you're driving on some highway way out in the middle of nowhere and nobody's around, your van's broken down, won't start, and your heater doesn't work for whatever reason, having a means to chop some wood to make a fire is always great. And hey, this could be a piece of protection too if you want as well. Camera tripod, um, a wrench so I can take my, take my lug nuts off my wheels, a tarp because you never know. I've never used this one, but it's in there for emergency reasons. This is the side panels for my awning that's on the van. Um, I've used this once and it's really awesome. This is another cool thing. I think every van should have one of these. It's to check the torque on the lugs on your wheels because you never know when you're out there and things may feel a little bit loose for some reason. Go set this to the appropriate torque settings and go out there and recheck the torque on your tires before you lose a tire on the highway. Instead of going to a shop, buy one of these. I bought this one on Amazon. It's just good for peace of mind. Last year, I added this 18 volt battery operated Makita chainsaw. This is not something everybody is going to go out and add to their van life, but it sure is awesome, especially if you spend a lot of time out there on those backcountry roads. Imagine getting way out there and then you're ready to leave the next morning and you come back the only road you can get out of and a tree fell down. At least with one of these, you have a means to chop it down and you're not out there defenseless going, what the heck am I gonna do? At least you have some of the tools you need. Do I think this is something that everybody needs to add to their van life? No, but if you are spending a lot of time out there in the backcountry, it is a good idea. Whether you're buying a battery operated one like I did, or you want to carry around extra gasoline cans and get yourself a gasoline one. Um, I just didn't want the extra gas tanks kicking around, you know? Inside of this bag is extra bedding for my bed. Good idea, just in case it gets super cold. And in here is something pretty damn cool. This is from a company called MC Ranch Overland. It's a fire reflector. I've had the chance to use it a couple of times. Whew, yeah, you got orange in that bag. So what you do is you light yourself a campfire and you put this around it. You build a campfire, you put the reflector around it, and you sit here and stay nice and super warm. I thought this was really cool. This company is actually a subscriber of my channel and they're local out here. Uh, really freaking cool. MC Ranch, Overland, Fire Reflector, amazing. Like just, what, what a cool little unit. And what it allow you to do too is make a smaller fire, conserve the firewood that you do have and retain the heat to where you are. So for a survival sense out there, this is awesome. It's also gonna protect it, protect it from wind and stuff like that if you're cooking on it. I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool little unit. I just, I'm not a huge campfire guy. Um, it's nice to have though, because if I'm ever out there on a cold, windy day, at least this will allow me to kind of huddle around here, make it all nice and close, push all that heat towards me. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, guys.
If I remember, I'll try to leave the links to this down below. If not, just Google MC Ranch Overland. This is the original fire reflector. Pretty awesome. <laughs> it doesn't look right, does it? It totally looks naked. It's all I came to the shop for. Just to take that thing off. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, Cruzy. Hi, ah, nice to see you awake. You're a sleepy head sometimes, you know that? And there you have it, 11 minutes of your life that you'll never be able to get back again. Now you just watched a whole entire video about what I keep inside of my van's attic. <laughs> yep, welcome to Van City Van Life where we cover everything to do with everyday van life. Thanks for watching everybody and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with the rest of whatever happened on this day. Thanks for watching. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I made this video. <laughs> Weirdos unite, baby.